okay now let us get into this evidence because i don't want you to say i'm stirring the pot i'm making stuff up right you need to go check the story out for yourself because you just can't make this story up anymore and we're going to take this story from the mail online and they are sanitizing this story right not calling it what it is basically we have a man who identify as a woman who dress up as a woman and call himself by a female name he is transgender now listen to what the male online has to say snp leader umas yusuf refuses to say if scottish man who dressed as a woman to kidnap an abused little girl will be sent to a male or female prison and that's a very interesting question right because this circus that is going around in the west because only in the west these type of things can happen let us get into a little bit of this story scotland's new first minister humas Yusuf refused to say if a male sex predator who dressed as a woman to kidnap and abuse a little girl will be sent to a male or female prison. After the butcher admitted lowering the child into his car before attacking her, Andrew Miller, also known as Amy George, pleaded guilty to four charges four charges abduction sexual assault watching pornography in the presence of the child under the age of 13 and possessing 242 indecent images of children unbelievable now the question really exists will this man go to a male or female prison and that will be interesting to find out now the headline from the scottish sun tells us this right in court trans butcher charged with sexual assault and abduction abduction of 11 year old girl in scottish borders right at least the scottish son is telling you exactly how the story goes a trans butcher has appeared in court charged with the abduction and sexual assault of an 11 year old girl andrew miller who is also known as amy george appeared at Selkirk Sheriff Court today, right? The 53-year-old was arrested earlier this month. He was charged with the alleged abduction of the 11-year-old as well as two charges of sexual assault. Miller was charged with further alleged offenses, including pre preventing the course of justice, the possession of indecent photograph of a child, behaving in a threatening and or an abusive manner, and forcing a child to look at sexual image. He made no plea and was remanded in custody. Now, both papers carrying the same story, but the Mail Online, their version is highly sanitized, while the Scottish Sun is telling you exactly how the story goes. Whichever way, people go look up the story further evidence to show you what is happening in this year armageddon further evidence to show you the deterioration of the west right this type of thing isn't happening in china it's not happening in russia why is that allowed to happen in the west understand that they have set the west up right now we need to seek the face of the most high let us pray and say glory be to the most high